What's up, world? I'm Jason Epperson from Omaha, Nebraska. I do spray paint art. Yeah, it's nighttime, and uh, I got a light out. So <laughs> this is actually a painting. Uh, I got a car wreck tonight, so that's why I'm coming on so late. So my apologies. But uh, <laughs> it's kind of a, just a minor fender bender thing, and some 16-year-old just turned right into me. It was kind of crazy. Um, anyways, so you guys uh, never know, uh, never seen what I do before. Well, this here is going to be a little bit different than your usual spray paint art. This is going to be uh, abstract flower painting. I'm going to do a lot of it with brush. And I uh, hope you enjoy. How are you guys? So I'm just going to kind of walk you through this. So what I, uh, what I usually use is a natural sponge when I use a sponge. Reason is, is it gives a, well, it gives exactly what it's saying. This is natural sponge, nat natural texture. Initially, what I did here was I started out <clears throat> spraying dark to light on the pink side. And I went light to dark on the dark side. And I just put a nice center strip right down the middle. I use that natural sponge to create that nice little pack, the seat pack, I guess you want to call it, in the center. Now, I layered a couple of colors to create the off balance. Using the dark color to set my foundation, and I did my first initial few petals. And then I went through and did the next row in a lighter color, and the next row in a lighter color. That said, I'm using a fan brush here in order to. I get a, uh, a stroke out of it, I guess, if you want to call it that. <clears throat> I'm aiming to just kind of edge the petals. And I'm using clear as I'm painting to smear the paint. Because it dries fast, obviously, spray paint. That said, that side was done. Once I got to my desired effect, here I'm just using a palette knife. I sprayed on the color. That palette knife, I can't really explain to you. That's something you really have to work. It takes many, many hours of practice for a palette knife to become very proficient. Same thing. Now I'm on the dark side. I'm doing my base uh, layer of petals. And then I'm going to go back through. And that is the dark color, of course. I'm going to go back through and use it lighter. And, you know, I just sprayed a little bit of white. Mix it with my black. And that really kind of is what gives it that definition. That depth. I come back with some darker black paint again, and I separate some stuff out. Simple as that. Kind of get in towards that little center region there, sponge it out, and walla walla bean bang. Spray it off with clear again, because that clear actually really helps that color settle. And I'm just kind of etching certain little details inside that center and reaching with the palette knife and the sponge. Same thing, opposite side, on the outer panels, I just spray in this balanced color. And then I take my small palette knife and I work in a flower. 
flower, I, I, I scrape into the wet paint. Mm -hmm. I'll use clear to continually re-wet it. Then I went around. Now to notice, of course, I went ahead and sprinkled some paint. Splattered. I went around the whole outer edge. And I used that same natural sponge and I gave it a nice balanced sponging of my initial dark color and then I re came back with my lighter color okay just to kind of give it a, a little bit of contrast throw each other off a little bit there you know from there this part's the neat part I put a little heartbeat line on this is a little signature I do. I'll just take uh, one color and spray on one side of the board, real thin line, and another color and spray on the other side. Wet it down with clear, and I just etch all the way, like a heartbeat line. Take it all the way down. The reason I do that because to me, at that point, I'm giving this painting life of sorts. Just a signature move. That's all. Now, to end it, I have to hit those outer edges of the canvas. Must. Absolutely. People like to have the outer edges done on their canvas paintings that hang on their walls. Just know that. No raw edges. Whatever clear coat you like to use, hit it at the end here, give it a nice finished coat, and watch this thing just come to life. You just made yourself a piece of fine art. Peace out, y'all.